Can y'all hear us? Are we there? Are we live? Are we live? Volume working? Huh? Is the volume working? I guess. Hmm. You're live. Yes. Can you hear us? Can you hear me, Brett and Cindy? Can you hear me, Brett and Cindy? Can you? I'm going to keep on singing till you type something. Can you? Okay, good. They can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't want him saying. Can you hear me? So Brett and Cindy. Can <laughs> you hear stop. me? Brett and Cindy. <laughs> can you hear no, me? Oh, yes, you can. They do want to hear me sing. Yes, they do. Yeah, I figure I might have a little bit delay. Welcome, Rebecca. I think this is your first time here. Homestead Humor. Welcome, welcome. If y'all could type in your hardiness zone, we are, well, in Texas, we are zone 8A. Um, that, here in Georgia, I think it's 7B. I'm gonna wait till we get one more person in here before. And I'm cooking dinner, so I keep taking off. Yeah, grab that chair over there. I gotta keep checking the meat. Yes, it is. Iowa four and five. Okay, Brett and Cindy, they're in zone. Are y'all seven A, seven B? Hey, Josh. Joshua. Wait, who Joshua? G. G. Yeah. I, th I think Joshua G has been in on I, something. I don't know. Really? Have you, Joshua? Is this your first time joining us? Can you scoot over some? Okay. All right. So now that we got some folks in here, um, we've been uh, sheltered in place now for a little bit over. I've been sheltered in, in place and very bored. And instead of, since we haven't been able to go back to Texas, uh, we decided. I, I can go. Well, you can go. However, I can't go. Uh, we decided to uh, kind of show, tell y'all some of the things y'all can and uh, can plant if y'all are in the uh, eight, eight. I knew it. I knew you've been here before, Joshua G. Okay. I didn't know. So, but. Um, we've noticed ever since this whole pandemic thing has happened that uh, a lot of people are start to do more gardening, start to try to break this whole food cycle. And so I, I'm loving it personally, it, like to share the excitement of it with more people. One of my girlfriends from work, when I get back to Texas, wants me to go help her with her garden. And I'm like geeking out about it because I have so many plants that I've been afraid that are going to die <laughs> uh, while I'm here. But my daughter, our daughter has been helping us and watering stuff and keeping it alive for me right now. Um, I don't know if you saw the video with all the starts that I did so far. Everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The entire garden that we're going to have this upcoming year <laughs> has been because of the starts I've been doing. Um, she's been kicking tail and start some seeds and our daughter has been helping us out since Mrs. Naked Garden has been here. That has been my biggest anxiety here. That minds. I'm like, like yeah, we he was like, let the garden die. Just be here. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm enjoying my breakfast and <laughs> lunch and dinners and stuff like that. Hey, Don, I'm glad you could join us. Samson Farms here too. Hey, hey. Nathan, what's going on? I, I saw your uh, your eggs things that brought back memories uh, 
when I first was dating uh, Mrs. Nick Gardner, she told me about the whole scotch egg. Yeah, the scotch yeah. egg thing. And but you did like the pimp daddy scotch egg of yeah. all because you did like some crab stuff in it. Yeah, it was like I've never had anything like it. Yeah, she she has and and then you showed me, well you. When we first dated, you was all about this. Uh, what was that one? Benedict egg, which I would it's never <laughs> do. He was like, "Oh, she likes Benedict." I so was like, "Oh, this is." This. And I was like, "Sucker!" Because <sighs> that's the only thing. Like, I will order eggs Benedict uh, at a restaurant. All you doing this the whole time? I will time. not make it. <laughs> oh my god! It was. I was like, like, "He made it for me." Never again. Well, I made it for it twice, and the other time was in the food process. But I love some Scotch eggs too, though, Nathan. Uh. But okay, so we're gonna do three types of what we're gonna always do for the first uh, week of for the first week of uh, each month for especially for zone eight A, and this one is gonna be kind of special since people are in apartments. These some of these are gonna be things that you can grow in a container, direct so, and we'll be able to uh, get you know this keep on going from there. Uh, first, as always, we're going to start with the flowers. Uh, with the normal flowers, you can direct so just about any type of annuals or perennial flowers. Uh, if you haven't done so already, you can do the asters, any type of aster, alyssums, um, coxcomb, lantanas, which if I would have been home, we would have been doing some direct seeding into those, especially with I'll be home on the 19th. It should be home on the 19th. Uh, be doing some of those in containers. Maybe in, uh, we were supposed to be doing a whole flower, herb, garden, uh, raised bed that we can't do now since I'm stuck here. Won't be the governor, the Texas governor won't allow anyone to fly into there without doing a 14 day uh, self quarantine. Uh, marigolds. Uh, if you're doing any type of marigolds, they are good companion plants to uh, harp, uh, to get away any like aphids. They're supposed to deter a lot of aphids and stuff like that. However, we did a lot of marigolds last year and we got aphid, not aphids, we spider, got spider mites. Uh, spider mites. And, and have any of you had issues with spider mites? Yeah. And did you find an effective way to battle them? Because um, that was our first experience and it was a beast. I would like to hear that from anybody. Yeah. So uh, I'm not sure if y'all could see. Oh, it's backwards. I wonder if it's backwards on there. Are we, we're keeping Nathan from planting some potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> we're wanting to plant some potatoes, but I saw y'all live. I know, right? I'm glad you joined us. Yeah. Spider mites are worse than aphids. They almost killed my elephant plant. They killed all your sunflowers. They pissed me. And it's it's off. it's and from what we we one of our Instagram followers was they went through a whole master garden. They say unless you have hair heirloom 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 it's pronounced heirloom is it heirloom or heirloom? heirloom? I think it's heirloom heirloom heirloom. He loves to twist up. He's he calls this. The Conora virus. The Conora virus and Mindstroms. He calls Mindstrom soup <laughs> instead of minestrone. It's Look like Mindstrom to me. Special. He's special. But anyway, I don't let little things bother <laughs> me like that. And anyway, so uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna plant some of these for in the apartment garden, and uh, these Cracker Jack mixed marigolds. I have some key limes going right now, and they're gorgeous. And then. Uh, yeah, that was it on those. Uh, we're also, I want to also do some of these African daisies, which is sunflower, it's another sunflower or of the sunflower family, African daisy. And I think these are perennials. Yeah. yeah, we have some back at home. That are gorgeous. We have some yellow and purple ones, and then I have some blue eyed daisies going, but these ones are really pretty. Like the colors are really, I don't know if you can see that. No, Nathan, it's heirloom. Hair. 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 That H is not silent. Babe, you oh. don't really, you never did well with proper English. Oh, well. That's really my department. <laughs> anyway. Uh, then we also doing some nasturtiums. Now, these nasturtiums I've jacked from the uh, 
from a particular person at the job site. And then he gets mad that I jacked and he had to go find this in my luggage. Yeah. Because Aren't these pretty? They're pretty. Yeah. And I have them and in my got, luggage. And they got to go with our purple and uh, with some, we're going to be doing some moon gardening. So, uh, or gardening by the moon, I should say. Uh, we also are going to be doing some of these uh, morning glories. I'm going to try to do some of these. Pull it back just like, cause I, see, I think you can see the color better, like, oh, like that, because the sun is, oh, yeah. <laughs> Nathan said, I ain't got no hair, so it's heirloom. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. I'm glad you know proper English. Well, mine is kind of receding, so I'm going to say heirloom until it's completely like yours, Nathan. You know what? You, you're, you're. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go with the other your, morning glare. Your pronunciation's like your hairline, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be getting sympathy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Can't say it right. Rebecca, where, where I think you put it on there already. What? Where she was uh zoned at. All right. But uh some of those are uh some of the flowers of uh, verbanias, which I didn't find any here, but we are growing some of those back home. Uh, zinnias, of course, I'm always going to be growing a lot of zinnias. Uh, oh, along with marigolds, uh, calendula is part of the marigold family. So if you don't want to get spider mites, calendula is another marigold. And you can actually, if you have a lot of those, you make some tinctures. And what's the other thing that you can make? Some medicinal oils off of it, wow. salves and stuff like that. So if you don't like, if you don't want to worry about the spider mites, do calendulas, uh, zinnias, vincas, and lat latanias. Uh, I love latanias because they bring a lot of butterflies and hummingbirds. So uh, I moon garden, but my neighbors don't like it. <laughs> Getting started on homestead. Uh, we're, I'm going to start. We, I'm going to do a little investigation while I'm here, or. Uh, experiment on uh, planting uh, gardening by the moon and is basically each phase of the moon is a reflection of how you should direct sow your seeds, how you should transplant your seedlings, how you should water, prune and all of that. So uh, we're putting a video for that together. Uh, next, we're going to go on to herbs. I think I got enough herbs here. Uh, the only herbs I've mostly been growing. Uh, all of these herbs you can grow I, I in feel apartment. I like didn't do like enough basils, but um, uh, and you, we just transplanted some thyme and some tarragon here. Yeah. And I was curious about why there wasn't any mint here. I got mint. It's uh right in that plant. Right. Remember that. Oh. Oh, that it's just, just it's, it's um, slow. It's slow to go. I'm just spoiled at home with all the men I have. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, Samson Farm. I was going to transplant some peppers in the garden this week, but the low, uh, yeah. It all depends on what you're going to transplant. Uh, the uh, nightshades, I think the trans, uh, the lows here are supposed to be in the low 40s. I still don't want to push that here. I might be bringing some of the peppers and eggplants in uh, this weekend, I'm supposed to get low. We've been having tremendous weather. What's been the weather for most of y'all this this week? We're interested to know. We've been getting some good mid, mid to low 70s. It's been beautiful quarantine weather. Rebecca put, I want to water garden, hydro, whatever. It can be done inside and outside. We, I've actually did some hydro, uh, hydroponic, uh, the Crecky method last year, and, and it went very well. Thirty-two on Saturday and Sunday. Where Ooh. are you at, Joshua? Because that's really cold. You, you must, must be, be north. I think he said Ohio. Ohio. That uh, my brother's up in Ohio. I'll have to ask him. Uh. I got some forecasts of the lows thir Ooh, for mm. this week. Okay. Oh, you're in Dallas, Josh? Okay. What? 
That's where our garden is at. Our garden's in Garland. Yeah. Dallas County. I didn't see 30s. I did see, I did, I just did a 10 day forecast. I've been so paranoid while we've been here and um, advising my daughter like on our garden while I'm here. So um, the lowest I saw that was going to be was in the. Oh, clear. I, I am not. I don't think that that's going to be accurate. You know how Dallas weather casters like Dallas. Get people worked up. Uh, Texas, we don't have home. weather. We have climate. A emotions of a teenager is yeah. what Texas is. Getting started on the home. Oh, yeah. Next weekend is on. <laughs> <Don't care>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, Joshua. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's horrible. Um, what What's that place that we went to in Oak Cliff that we really like to go and hang out, which we miss, we miss. Oh my God, we miss date nights. Remember the date nights? We like there's a barbecue place over there in Oak Cliff, where Josh was at. Um, where that that play in a suit? It was like a year ago. Oh. That we went to, and it had like um that uh, it's like an outside. Josh will probably know, um, but there's a place that has a bunch of different restaurants and it has like some breweries there. We went, went in there to ask about hops for the garden at one of the places oh, over at Oak Cliff. It's, it's a really cool area. Oh, I forgot the name of it. Yeah, we like anyway. that area. Anyway, so for the herbs, A, maybe even 7B. Uh, you can do uh, borage. You can direct plant those. You love those. We before one of our, my last trips there, we went to a community garden, and just from one seed or one plant, it looks like they, the borage was like humongous. You have to treat borage like mint, is what I'm learning, um, because it's so invasive. Um, learning about that, even with our passion flower, um, it's like another like really invasive plant yeah what's going on supreme thank you for stopping by bishop arts is, is that what it was yes the okay. Bishop arts area i like that uh catnip is another uh herb that you can uh, direct so into the ground if you're an 8a or higher uh you did use a few things from the uh, catnip yeah i like to i mean it's like crack for cats too they like to go out and snack on it and uh, garlic chives, you could direct so uh, those. Uh, cilantro, if you could do the slow boat cilantro, you can do those. Lavender, I've never had, well, actually, I've actually got some lavender growing from seeds. This is my first year, somewhat successful growing lavender from seeds. Uh, but before then, I used to suck at growing a uh, marigold and lavender and rosemary. So far, the those two have been been proven. Practice makes perfect. Uh, a dill, you can do some dill and uh, echinacea, which is a nice medicinal herb uh, that you can use for tea, salves, tinctures, just about anything. Anybody ever use echinacea? as a medicinal plant out here. Uh, mint, we want to grow, I think this year we want to try to grow more peppermint, chocolate mint. Yes, I have a lot of chocolate mint. Uh, really chocolate good. mint. UT, what's going on? April for most, for uh, is garden gambling weather, we have this, Blind is killing me. Oh, it's that one. Who's that one? There. All right, there we go. We have steep climbs and drops. <laughs> Not so much too warm or cold, but the rapid changes can hurt. Yes, they they definitely can. Your deal sprouts but dies. Hmm. Oh, that that stinks. Hey, little. Hey, Junior. Hey, Junior. How, how's everything going with you? I don't know why. Now, do your 
do you still have your deal like in a starter cup or are they? Yeah, how do you start your deal? Because mine was so prolific. Like I actually, right before I left uh, to come here, I cut all of ours back and I, like I have a mason jar and a whole season thing of dill that I dried out. And, and last year, like, Oh yeah. Like I, I did the same thing and like I had just a little bit left in my little container um, just in time to have to harvest more. But I had more this year, so I'm going to be using it in a lot more dishes and it's so flavorful. And we, we mostly started our seeds back. I want to say in late fall. Oh, Junior's bored. I'm bored too, son. Oh, online um, classes. Welcome to my world. Last six, eight years of the Air Force. But you're not taking any classes right now. Well, not now. Yeah. I don't have time to take it. I'm so bored right now. Mm. Uh, sage. You can grow sage. Now, we've tried to, gr uh, I wouldn't say grow uh, sage. but I want to do some different varieties of sage. I want to do some variegated sage that uh, Jess from Roots and Refuge does. She has a thing for variegated stuff. I want to, I wish we can ha be successful with pineapple sage. We tried it for three, four times. Yeah, the last two times he was like, this is the last time. Yeah, uh, and, and she, she wanted to get it in. I was like, all right, you tend to it. I'm not, I ain't dealing with it. It's too moody. It is moody. So. Yes, I start them in trays and they die just before they get their true leaves. Huh. Huh. Do you have a lot of uh, fungus gnats or some pests growing around here? And what do you use for your starting, starting medium? Yeah, because uh, I would definitely talk with you about that. I have had some success with the starts with the lights and with the soil, mm -hmm. both versions of the soil, either the peat moss or the coconut core. Make sure you sterilize it, get all the gnats out of it. And neem oil, and, um, cold yeah, we, press neem oil, not I, the regular neem oil. This last set had like some annoying gnats, even with doing everything Pete right. Moss. Okay, yeah. Do you um, shake it out uh, to shift. get all the or shift it out to get all the big pieces out, and then do you add vermiculite? Not just no, like before adding all the other stuff, like boiling water to it to sanitize it. You don't have to really do it for peat moss and cocoa core. Um, I thought that too, but this last uh, growing spurt I just did, this last uh, wave, mm -hmm. um, the, all of the coconut core had horrible, the worst gnat problem I ever had. So like, I I don't think that there's a perfect answer. I am. Perfect oh, answer. <laughs> Jury's out. Okay, carrots. Now with carrots, uh, I'm, they're always hitting this with me. Well, we'll plant and we do the. We're still experimenting, looking for like our perfect method. Yeah. Honestly, that's that's our true answer. Now that. with carrots, there you you for the first two weeks you have to baby them. So they get their first leaves uh, or sprouting up and everything. You we have, have to keep the, uh, the soil nice and moist. You got to make sure the soil isn't disturbed and everything. Get it nice. Just keep it nice and moist. Not sopping wet, but just like moist. And then once it sprouts up, then after that, you just for, uh, set it and forget it. But it's it's just hard. It's, it's hard. Now, if you're in an apartment, and growing them in containers, as long as the container is at least anywhere from 10 to 12 inches deep, preferably 12 inches deep, then you'll be able to um, make sure the soil is very loose. Yeah. Too. Like you have to make sure that soil, like you can just punch through it, get your hand up to about right here yeah. um, and just be able to easily do that in that soil. Yeah. Uh, What's the uh, stevia is another herb and uh, salvia, which is kind of of the sage family. Those are the herbs that you can grow uh, around this time, whether you're in the, an apartment life or in the homestead life, wherever like that. Joshua G said, but there is a lot of bugs on the top of the soil. So I'm guessing that's the problem. Yes, those are the fungus gnats. Uh, you want to use cold pressed neem oil with a surfactant uh do i have uh, you don't have the cold press here you have i don't have the cold press here because 
Amazon takes a while and I don't have time for, for that. So I just use the regular Home Depot uh, neem oil. The reason why you want to use cold pressed neem oil because it has this uh, chemical that is not deprived from the neem plant. When they, uh, when they use the regular neem oil, they use like a, some type of alcohol chemical in there to extract some of the neem out of there. And it doesn't uh, prevent or deter or stop the life cycle of soft body bugs, pests, whatever like that. But with the cold press neem oil, it has that chemical in there to make sure it stops the cycle of uh, the uh, aphids and all the other soft body bugs, the spider mites and all that. So uh, use that. If you can't find the cold press neem oil, if it takes too long to get to you in, uh, from Amazon, you can use cinnamon, sprinkle cinnamon over the soil or some uh, fine grain um, playground sand around the soil. That way when the soft body bugs finally hatch from the uh, soil, it uh, hurts their body and destroys their body so they won't be able to chew on your roots from there. But the, this last wave for me, I was uh, doing the neem oil, like a spray of it on there to help ward them off. You got the detergent? What? My detergent, I used to add into the neem oil. Oh, that um, without yeah. the dye. Yeah, and so you want to use a surfactant because that surfactant with that oil, when you mix it up and shake it up, it it emulsifies and it helps you coat the leaves. So there's no unnecessary ingredients. Yeah. Now you can buy a regular surfactant, but we normally get, I well, I normally get like a uh, dish detergent that doesn't have any dye. So as you see, it's perfectly clear no chemicals it basically be all um organic we put that in all of our sprays yeah. that we put together all right getting started on the home set milk the rabbit hmm. <laughs> louisiana garden guru hey welcome 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 i do do cinnamon and that didn't do it so i've never had any luck with cinnamon with uh the uh fungus gnats, but it does work with uh, sugar ants, so. Uh, yeah, ants, that's where it's helped me. Uh, Rebecca put, I start my seeds, use tea bags, then when they start to plant the whole thing, then I go to my mom's who has horses, free organic. Oh man, I wish I had that luxury. One of these days. Mm, I want to get rabbits. We have homesteading goals. <laughs> Uh, you just want to eat rabbits. I want them yeah. for their poo. <laughs> the uh, next, we go to the vegetables. For the vegetables, what, uh, if you're in an apartment life, you can do bush variety. Dude, there we go. I'm gonna do these. And, I got some bush variety ones yeah. going right now that are really. Yeah, I got some out nice. there. They're starting to starting to sprout, but with bush variety in a five to ten gallon. A container you could probably do anywhere from 10 to 12 of those and they're perfect for container gardens if you do the bush variety if you have space you can do the pole beans and go up a trellis and everything especially if you're short on space but right now we have the the peas and the uh the bush uh the beans going up and on there. we're in a unique position right now not only do we have a urban backyard home garden but here in Georgia, and, and all of that's in Texas, Dallas County, uh, where we have that stuff going. But here in Georgia, there's these apartment um, balconies, I was telling him yesterday, are, are actually quite large for a normal balcony that he got. He got very lucky. So, um, you know, we're doing this not only in an apartment life, but in an urban garden setting. Robert Blair. Yes. I've, I get, Well, I don't have... I don't know if they're runner beans. I forgot what type of beans I have growing up on the trellis. Now this one's irritating me. There. Uh, but we are, I am growing some up the uh, trellis here. Those are doing really good. The ones that we have going at home, I think are the same ones, the King Tuts, um, and they're going up our trellis today, our daughter. If you go to our Instagram, um, uh, if you don't follow us on Instagram, you should. Um, in my stories today, my daughter gave us an update. 
she was watering our stuff and taking footage just to give me because I've been so anxious away from the garden. Um, I've been afraid that things have been dying, uh, but she did put in our story and I attached it um, to the update on how our garden looks today. I'm, I'm like, I'm very pleased. Yeah. Like, um, carrots, so we mentioned about carrots, you can do those, direct sow those into containers or if you're in an apartment or not in an apartment life, you have a backyard garden or homestead, you can do carrots this year, especially the short variety. Um, and just make sure that you mulch it. Uh, if you're in the 8AB, especially in North Texas area like we are, so that way uh, the heat doesn't uh, kill them off of from there. Uh, cucumbers, love cucumbers. I don't have the space to grow cucumbers here. Uh, however, one of our friends uh, on the Facebook group, ooh, excuse me, they was uh, asking about cucumbers that they could do in a container. And you can actually do bush variety cucumbers. Now we grew these uh, at my uh, dad's garden uh, last year and they were just popping out crazy. He, he didn't even know where most of the cucumbers were till we raised up the leaves from them and they were just out there. So I live in the- one of our uh, greatest uh, disappointments during this quarantine right now is um, when he was blocked coming home, we weren't able to go and sow in dad's garden. I know. So we're going to have to do a lot of starts. So. Uh, so, yeah, that's been very upsetting. His dad's garden by far is way more productive uh, than our yard our last two years with ours because he gets a lot of sun yeah i think it's been our tree but this year we it with him he lifted the tree uh i think that we're gonna have a, mo a much more productive harvest this year uh oh big bear homestead what's going what? on big bear he put dessa has yes yeah, uh, dessa what? has uh, kooka melons growing in a container inside the uh house there we oh, had then? the small uh Those look, yeah we didn't Great yeah, with those. yeah, we didn't. And Dad's were tasted. What? He didn't have. We didn't put no, any. No, we in, yeah. did atomic. Something yeah. Like okay. Just... Uh, great. I have them in barrels because of the soil here. What? Uh, Robert Blair. Oh, cause about the runner beans. Okay. Uh, Joshua G. Put all my Blue Lake beans have not came up. I'm giving them about. A, well, with the with the beans, it all depends on your soil. If your soil is at least 65 to 70 degrees, then your your beans will start to, to sprout. So check your soil uh, to see how warm your soil is. If it's not warm, that's the reason why. Uh, Rebecca put, I live in an apartment and plant my strawberries in a small laundry basket uh, uh, with the, okay, okay good. garden fabric in the soil, cut in the slip. Yep, that's a good way to do it. That's smart. It's an inexpensive, smart way to do it. Who were we watching last night that showed us um, a bunch of different things that they got from Dollar Tree? Um, uh, there's a few that uh, Linda, uh, she, uh, I forgot the name of her channel, Louisiana. but she, yeah, right. yeah, the the New Orleans gardener. She does a lot of uh, things that she grows from the Dollar, the Dollar Tree, Dollar General and the family dollar stuff. So, I mean, for those of you that have family members that are just finally getting interested or anybody that's on here that's just finally getting interested, I mean, it's a great way to just start something. Yeah. Uh, let me see, what else? Uh, okra, uh, nightshades, you can do your tomatoes, whether they're indeterminate, which could grow anywhere from eight to 14 feet long or tall unless you top them off you got your determinants are normally about three to four feet uh, you got your eggplants a lot of variety of eggplants okra uh, okra i'm just gonna if say you're from right the south and you don't grow okra shame on you yeah but i'm gonna say i'm in mourning right now because earlier we were talking about starts and um gnats and uh, the terrible experience I've had with my cocoa core starts this year has all been my okra. Like I have had horrible uh, success with okra and I'm going to be really sad if I don't have some successful okra this year. You got cheese? 
Right now? What? Big Bear, you got some cheese? You, you, you trying to be my enemy. Don't, don't, don't try to give him some cheese mm. while I'm here. Mm. <laughs> uh, what else? You could do, oh, you could do uh, mustard greens. Any type of mustard greens, those would be pretty good to be growing right I now. I love the red giant mustard. Yeah, look at right there. You're going to take those home, too. It's so nice. Take those what? red giant mustards over there. Okay. And then... Oh, you want to mess with me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you could do onions. Uh, remember, two of our lives ago, somebody was asking about doing onions. You can do onions. I think even... Luke from MI Gardener was talking about transplanting some of his onions we out. We have a bunch of onions. And onions garlic. and garlic. You and can't do garlic right now. Only want to do those in the fall. Yeah, but we do have a bunch in our community garden, Deep Ellum. Yeah. Now, uh, you can do peas, uh, but you, you have to find a short-term peas if you're in the North Texas area because I'm telling you now, coming about the next two months, is about to get real hot. Luna Blue. So this, if, if this is your first time, like totally hit us up. Go to our Instagram. Um, Facebook page. Yeah, you can hit us up, inbox us. I don't know where you're at, but we'd be happy to guide you on your path. And there's some other channels in here, like the Big Bear Homestead, Samson Farm, Louisiana Garden Guru. They follow can, them. Yeah, follow them. They give some very helpful tips. If you're thinking about... Uh, uh, Predator Watch and stuff like that. Big Bear Homestead is good. Samson Farm, he, does, he got some quail and does some gardening tips as well. And Big Bear, they got their quails too. I'm, I'm, I think they're good. Yep. Uh, Jason and Robin, are y'all um, limiting y'all quail or, or what? They have a nice setup for their quail. Um, what else? We talked about nightshades, I can okra. Duh, duh. These packets still here. So. Okay, uh, squash. Oh no, peppers. You could do peppers. Ut. Uh, Ut. Are you still on here? Ut is. Ut is, like the, is the guru of peppers and maters. Uh, he does a, a taste test on that. If they you have if, such a small growing space. Yeah. Too. If you want to know what they give you a review on different tomatoes and peppers. So check them out. Uh, if you if you're a beginner garden, you want to learn about different peppers and tomatoes, which one that is might be uh, recommended. They could do some type of recommendations and stuff like that. So Big Bear, what's your definition of a large <laughs> flock? There you uh, go, UT. If, if we're if we're talking about um, the the quail, because you what was it like? How many did you guys have? I felt like the like. When I looked in their cages when I was there, I felt like there was like. Well, they had a lot well. more, but they, yeah, I think y'all were saying that they, they had predator, um, some type of predator issues. But, that they, was, but last time I was there, it was a nice little cage. I don't mm -hmm. see how a predator got into that. So I'm, I'm curious what that means. But uh, if you're a container gardener, live in a small space. You also, UT does a lot of container gardening. So check them out. But Big Bear for real is about sustainable uh, gardening uh, and living. Like they're trying to cut back on going to the store for anything. So I, I find they are a homestead that we want to mimic. We, yeah, we want to be like them. Yeah, uh, we want to live like that. Yeah. If you consider Ledessa a predator. <laughs> uh oh, Ledessa. <laughs> <laughs> Narrow Way Farm, we are good. How about yourself? What uh, hardiness zone are you in? Uh, what else? Melons, whether it's watermelons, regular melons. I want to grow melons so bad. Yeah, we, we actually we don't, we don't have the space. We're doing we Kajari live. melons this year. I've got some Kajari melons popping off. Yeah. And hopefully, when I get home, it's still in a situation that they will survive. Um. But melons, I feel like I need more property for melons. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca, you could probably do saffron. Uh, I think you could do that during the, uh, this time right now. Can you? What? We did it uh, last saffron, summer. Saffron, what? Saffron. Oh, the flower? Yes, yeah, right there. But what kind of saffron? Because like saffron flower is like the, 
I don't know. It's like the knockoff of like saffron. Well, it's just you gotta get so saffron many. Saffron has like the flavor. Yeah. Like I'm a foodie, so saffron for me, like flavor is about that other saffron. But we did. We haven't like we've grown some saffron flower, and I actually have some successfully growing in our garden right now. Um, and I'd like I'd like to do some knockoff. Six B Southeast Kansas. Okay. Hmm. As delicious as quails are, it is not hard to. It is hard to not be a quail of <laughs> Oh. We just. Oh, uh, okay. You and J Nathan and Jason, we just saw. We went to the grocery shopping last weekend, and we, we went to this Asian market, and they had he quail had no eggs. Idea that this is like five minutes from his apartment. Yeah. Until like we were just no, we were going to. It was, the oh, yeah, we're, <laughs> so we're gonna be have to go in here pretty soon to go mm, back. We gotta yeah, restock. To, it's essential. Yeah, but that grocery store had like even like my my uh, sunchokes. It had like so much exotic stuff. No bad, um, but some exotic stuff. Uh, squashes. You could do squashes. Direct sold squashes. Uh, I've never had a, a good uh, transplanting. I only have my dad's of place. What? It's transplanting squash. Well, this year I have very successful squash. And if you go to my Instagram, um, my grand cat was posing for pictures. And um, grand cat. But I have a grand cat. Uh, and uh, the squash, like she's right next to the squash, is being very successful right now. Uh, so we are going to try these. These are supposed to be a bush variety of a butternut squash. Can y'all see that? <laughs> Jason. Is that Jason or Robin? It had to be Jason. I've heard about his pickle egg quail, uh, pickle quail eggs uh, issue. Uh, he, he killed the whole uh, mason jar of them. Oh, he did or yeah, you did? He did. I've never tried them before. Mm. <laughs> but I think that you would. But I would. Mm. I love. Oh, there it. was quail eggs all in that little market yeah, we went to. Yeah. Anyway, so these are the bush variety of uh, butternut squash. I was hoping that I could find a bush variety of uh, spaghetti squash. We have some. Yeah. Started. And I did find a bush variety of these uh, uh, acorn squash. Now. This squash is considered a, I believe, a summer squash because of the skin of the of the squash. And this is considered a winter squash because you can you basically pick these at the end of the summer and they'll be able to store for anywhere from six to eight months uh, as long as you uh, store them correctly. Uh, so those I'm going to try to grow out here this weekend. Uh, oh, I forgot By to show the way, you peppers that we're going to. Be I don't growing. know why he keeps trying to start stuff here, because he's supposed to be coming home next month to Texas, and the amount of stuff he has. Don't start with me. Don't start with me. Um, like that's only <laughs> that's the way. Right? No, we were timing it that the end of May <laughs> is wrapping up his time in georgia anyway so another thing that you can grow this month are radishes we're gonna i'm gonna try to grow some of these i'm only gonna do about two maybe three of these and these you can grow very quick they normally take anywhere about 25 to 30 days and you can grow these in containers and in apartments good to roast i've never tried these i like the uh the French reference ones, but uh, Samson Farm planted 73 varieties of peppers. I feel like we're spirit animals because I'm all about peppers. He's all about tomatoes. I like any like, type of my shape. I, I want to try like every pepper. Like I am growing peppers like a beast. I can't wait to have more space to have more peppers. And I'm like trying to like we are in um, an urban area. We do not have an HOA and I'm finding sneaky ways. Like I was telling him, like I just pulled up all, right before I came here, I pulled up all of these um, weeds and everything on the side of our driveway. And I'm like, I'm going to put stuff here. And he's like, 
why? And I'm like, I want like, just, I'm, I'm going to do it. Like I'm going to put like tons. I'm going to, I'm going to grow wherever I can grow. Go for it, man. Yeah. Uh, you could do beats. They can come at me, bro. <laughs> uh, you could do Swiss charts, which are, I found very hardy in our area. We had one Swiss chart that almost grew year round in our area in that one bed right next to your uh, arugula oh 11 varieties you planted i'm i'm probably around 10. and then uh varieties. corn if you have the space jason are you planting corn anytime soon and samson now that you nathan now that you got your nice little area are you going to be growing some corn how many acres is your nice new area nathan and then you can do potatoes. You can start potato slips, or you I can just, just do. Potato slips before I oh, well, actually, sweet potato sweet, slips. Yeah, that's what I started. Uh, you can do regular potatoes. And I wouldn't suggest if you're in an apartment because when you're time to uh, harvest it, you're going to leave a mess on your balcony. Uh, so. Um, Big Bear, uh, Jason, um, about the Swiss chard. Uh, like right before I came here, I cut all of ours back. Um, I saw that it's growing back, so I'm going to have another harvest out of it when I get home. Um, before I came here, though, I did harvest it. I did like blanch it and freeze it. Um, how are you guys um, harvesting and, and preparing it? Uh, are you just doing it fresh? What are you guys doing with your Swiss chard? Uh that Rebecca put there is a bush eggplant. I was trying to look for some, I think um, Baker's Creek, they do have some, but right now, of course, they are not uh, shipping anything. They're on hold. So most of those were, most of those seeds, as you can tell, are from Walmart uh, variety. And I'm surprised with Walmart is they're just we don't really have this brand uh, planted at home. Yeah. This is here, so. so after I plant these this weekend, she's is gonna this be taking. Because the... you got all these for free. No, actually, yeah, I got yeah. those for free. That's what I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, spinach. You can do a a uh, slow bolting spinach. That black beauty, yes. What happened? Black beauty eggplants are kind of bushy. <laughs> Okay. I knew that. And uh, collards, uh, collards for us, they are very hard. They will grow. They won't really bolt that much in our area. Um, and they will definitely, excuse me, will be nice and sweet once that uh, fall uh, cold frost gets there. Once it, you can start to get a, a mild uh, winter around 40 degrees nights and stuff. So those will be good to be picking. So no, most of the time we'll pick those around Thanksgiving time frame. I feel like we're, you know, with the space that we grow in, that we're limited to a point where we don't get to let some things stay where they are. Um, I really look forward to having um, like a perennial garden someday, an area where... Why are you so loud? Um, uh, my goals are to experiment more with a perennial garden, be less wasteful, uh, things that I know that I love um, and just want to kind of continue with. I want to like have an orchard kind of area and I don't want to have to mix it up as much as we have to now. Jason, why are y'all, you put uh, Big Bear Homestead put, we are going to wait till next year of growing corn. Why are you going to wait next year? I would think y'all would like to do it this year. I planted, uh, Joshua put, I planted corn, but those darn tree rats, I had some of my seed. Uh, Samson Farm, the new we house. Wait till next week on the corn. Oh, next, yeah. Oh. Not next year. Oh, okay. Next week. Cool. He don't know how to read, but look what his shirt says. Oh, hush. Yeah. Stop. Uh, 
Samson Farm. The new house is on an acre of land, but across the road, I have two acres I can plant over there as well. That is that is, somebody else's property, or they they let you grow there? That where I can plant corn and acre and okra uh, last year. Okay, that's a sweet deal. If you're able to Joshua, how are you doing on your three sister garden bed? I, we tried it. It's the timing for us was so. Oh, that's it, sunny. You know what? Um, the timing was horrible. We let our corn get up. Then we try to do our peas. It didn't have anything to do with anything other than we hadn't uplifted our tree at that yeah. point. It did not get the sun that it needed. Um, and so then with our tall fence. In the, in the shade. So I had to basically almost hand pollinate the uh, whole gar uh, corn. You gonna play the maracas? Yeah, I'd be, uh, you'd be Lucy and I'd be uh, Ricardo, <laughs> Vicky Ricardo. Whatever. Say, ah, Sydney. <laughs> uh, let's see. We are just going out there with scissors, cutting it back. Black Beauty. We. Hey, what are you doing? I was trying to get to the bottom. Uh, C saving super important. Yes, yes, yes. I think this year. If this pandemic didn't open up a lot of people's eyes, they're growing their own food. Uh, we are, I, what I want to do is we're going to, I want to leave at least one plant out, especially with the herbs and the uh, brassicas. I'm going to let one plant start to go to seed and just let it. Uh, we're going to start harvesting our own seeds so that way this situation has changed our entire way of thinking yeah luckily we now we kind of been practicing the last three four years so we know how to grow our own food um you know we're trying to get sustainable and everything to where uh only thing we have to go to the stores for is paper towels and uh, stuff like that. Yeah. But I think that this this whole thing has benefited us in a way because there will be a different housing market. And we were aiming to start looking for our land this summer. Um, I think it'll be a lot more affordable. Yeah. What's happened. Yeah. Hopefully this does break the... Uh, the broken food system that's been going on. I know Big yeah. Bear Homesteads, they've been talking about that on their live stream that they do 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern times on Saturdays, every Saturdays. So check, yeah, them, check out. them out. And uh, uh, Nathan from Sense of Farm, I think they're going to be starting to do their uh, live here, I believe. To, to Oh, y'all do y'all's on Tuesday, right? Or Monday, uh, Nathan. We have the rosemary cuttings, by the way. I'm going to show him because you did start these. I did start them. Yeah. So tell Robin, now what? What, what? What? What, 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 what? Uh, Jason put, uh, Big Bear Homestead put, once the Swiss char gets bitter from the heat, we will let them go to seed. So we did do some starts for Robin. Yeah, and uh, they're getting a little bit. Uh, shoot, hold it. I wonder if it. Is that the better one of the three? Yeah, getting there was a little. One that didn't show as much. But. Yeah, if you see on my black shirt, you get a little bit of uh, kind of. It just takes about two yeah. weeks for it to fully develop. It. Oh, that's too low. Well, that one fell off the fridge today, and I fixed it. Okay. So, tell Robin now, Wood. <laughs> Tuesday, okay, Nathan's uh, Samson Farms uh, live is Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central Time. Backyard Gardener, how you been? Uh, narrow wave farm. Are you planting anything you have not planted before, even if it's a different variety? We are actually planting a few things back home. I wish we can show y'all. Hopefully on our a next live, doing a lot of flowers. We're doing the Armenian 
long cucumbers. Mm -hmm. that's, I guess that's what they're called. I, I planted them actually, uh, so like put them in right before I left. Um, so, you know, this is that angst where I'm not getting to check on things daily like I usually get to. Um, so at this point, as I said before, with me here, he's like, just let the garden die and be here. I'd rather um, be fed. He's re he's really enjoying having a housewife. Like <laughs> meals three times a day. Um, he's never we've never had this dynamic. She gives me baths. She rubs my feet. She clips my toenails with her teeth. Oh my god, I ain't gonna have it. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. But he is fed like three times a day. Like, and I'm a foodie. Like. Down. Big Bear, are you really going to talk smack when she's going to be? Yes, I'm going to talk smack as long as you don't tell her. Thank you. <laughs> but that's our secret. Like, don't don't warn him. Uh, Joshua G, I have full sun and will probably do corn and squash. Um, what else? We're, uh, we're doing loofahs. Robin uh, from Big Bear Homestead. We're doing an experiment because we did half of them are... Um, are from Baker Creek. Half of them, like three of them are from Baker Creek. Three of them are from the Botanical Garden. Oh, botan collection. Botanical Interest. Yeah. Um, and then I still have like six more, but I have extra. What? <coughs> You're not supposed to let her here. Put the video on mute then. Golly. What? He said she's right here watching you, Dork. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, I have a bunch of extra growth uh, of some things, but one of my girlfriends, when I get back, I have a bunch of starts that I'm going to probably help her with her garden. We also doing the... Uh, oh, the chokes. The, and I have, like, when the I get home, Oh, yeah. The sun chokes. This is the first time doing sun chokes. I started in January before his video. And the, that video, when was that video that you did? Because I did, I actually started some chokes back in January that have shoots that are coming up um, because they are like in the sunflower family. Um, and I did um, an extra like heart, um, growth of some radishes. Oh, some wasabi. thank you, Don. Oh, that's so sweet, Don. Uh, some wasabi. I did some wasabi radishes. Um, oh, yeah. So when I go back home, I'm probably going to do either a live or a video harvesting the wasabi and doing a review on them. I'm super excited about those. Um, they look like they were really healthy um, before I came here um, and, and almost ready to harvest. And also, I think the one plant that I'm, we are probably most excited about this year. We've been growing it for three I'm years. I'm most excited about the sun Is the, No, the passion flower. Yes. He didn't know that it actually fruits. And our passion flower is like, it's beautiful. Um, it has so many blossoms. When I get back home now, I know what I need to do to secure the fruit. Um, there's a little spot on it I need to take off and rub to pollinate it, self-pollinate. Um, but I'm um, super, super excited about that. And, and uh, Big Bear, I'm going home on the 19th, um, but I, he's going to come home on the for first a visit weekend. on the 1st. But both of us are flying back here to Georgia together on the 4th. And I'm going to be here from like the 4th to the 17th of May. Rebecca, put. Uh, medicinal plants are going to be a big part of the garden this year. We got a book on. Yes, uh, Big Bear actually told us about this one book, and I I gave to Mrs. Naked Gardener. What? What? Oh, with the passion flower, Jason. What? We got to talk tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, we were supposed to have in our front beds of the house, we were going to, before this whole stuff, then before the governor of Texas. We were talking about my tea garden. Yeah. Uh, like, so we were going to do a whole video of building the whole tea garden. And that guy put the. He got he got shut down. He couldn't come home. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, man. This and, and what's going to happen when I go home on the 19th, he gave me a bunch of sunflowers and I. I am just going to sprinkle some flowers out in those front beds that I we I hand weed it during the quarantine there. 
um, during like an entire week after like I was unemployed. Um, and so now I'm hey, just Jason, gonna... can you do this? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and Jason, I miss your beard. Um, yes, little boy, I miss your beard. Stop. Too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I come, I'm just going to sprinkle I'm stuff gonna, out there and I'm see gonna what I'm going to grow this as long as you're your man, your man bud. Well, you know, at least he has at least he has hair on top of his head. <laughs> so he has a good set of hair on top of his head. Oh, you got a goatee. We're gonna have to see that tomorrow. I remember my first goatee. <laughs> Rebecca, she put ghosts and cayenne peppers. Yes, we're growing a lot of uh hot peppers and sweet peppers this year. We want to do a lot of canning. Uh, I think Big Bear Homestead, I think y'all do some canning. Uh, Nathan, I'm not sure if y'all do some canning. <laughs> we are looking for really good canning recipes and fairy tale. Um, fairy tales, uh, I forgot her, her channel. She, just, that. Gave, she, does. she just shared a really nice, spicy now. Uh, Cheryl's organic food for she does a lot of canning. She does meat canning, vegetable canning, tomato canning, a lot of canning, soup canning, everything. Yes, something I pay for. I love her hair, so I pay for it to keep her. I'm very inexpensive <laughs> <laughs> from what you were used to. Yeah. Good night, all. Happy Easter. Good night, Rebecca. Uh, so those are everything that we you can grow and we some of the things that we are growing in these apartments, flowers, veggies and herbs. And I'm, I think I didn't show you all these peppers, but I'm going to try to grow these. I love the way these look. I'm going to try to can those. Well, I, I like those just from a canning perspective. Um, there's so many dishes that the pimentos. Oh, what I do, I do have a question for y'all. I normally do a Tuesday, Thoughtful Tuesdays, just to kind of uh, pick the minds of our subscribers, viewers, and past buyers, is through this whole uh, shelter in place, what is one thing you want to do as soon as it is lifted? Samson Farms, what variety is that pepper? Uh, I think it's a, it's a pimento cubanella. It's uh, supposed to be a sweet pepper. It's from Walmart, as you can see, fifty cents. I don't know how the germination rates are the are with these, so I'm just gonna try them. Uh, for me, is a haircut. I was gonna have Mrs. Naked Gardener cut my hair live, but. I wanted to shave his head. Yeah. I, I prefer him bald. Yeah, maybe after we get Especially back from the like that's so jagged. Uh, what if I do like it's this? It's like it's like a jigsaw puzzle. So I prefer him bald. What? You like my hair like this? You have a preference? I have a preference for bald. Hmm. Bald with beards. I want to sit down inside of a chair. Oh my God. I saw I, on my way to work. I hate show. On my way to work, I go, I drive by Chick fil A. And on my way home, it is a long drive through line. I'm just, just like, wow. Robin said she'll cut it. She can cut it. Well, you, will you shave it? Like I'm going to have Mrs. Nick Gardner uh, cut my hair. You're going to need a, a touch up while I'm gone. Yeah. I'm, I'm, here until the 19th so he's gonna get shaved this weekend yeah i miss getting my feet done i miss getting my hair cut i miss pedicures i'm probably well first thing i'm gonna do is go get like my nails done hey what's going on Gerard, hey fam if y'all are interested about uh learning about exotic indoor plants go check out his, his, his channel plants in general he's yeah. super entertaining i love watching his stuff yeah and for all y'all youtube channels out there 
for all y'all YouTube channels out there, if y'all have Instagram um, out there, promote y'all Instagram. You know, not just uh, this whole uh, YouTube thing. Instagram, promote your Instagram, promote your, um, your anything, Facebook page. Anything that you see of us on YouTube. Um, like I want maybe, to be able to sneeze at Walmart and not get treated like <laughs> <laughs> I want to be able to have my allergies out in public too. Uh, but you know, um, after, after like this whole, like being held in place kind of thing, like, I just want to, like, I, I, I'm an introvert. I've been training my entire life for this thing. Oh my gosh. She is I, like I'm the, the queen introvert ever. Do I complain about like very much when you come home? He complains. He complains about me like doing laundry. What B A complaint is that? Let me tell you about her. We could go and win a three loads, state a week, three loads a week of winning a million dollars. I'd be like, hey, we could go to this party and win, have a, a a guaranteed chance of winning a million dollars, or we could stay home. Oh, let's stay home then. I'm like, what? And this man complains about this. He has no idea what a jewel I am. I'm just saying. Yes, you are a jewel. No idea. Mm -hmm. Three meals a day. Mm -hmm. I don't care about being out. I don't, I don't need to be out in public. I don't care. All right, Jason. We'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll, pr we'll probably get there early. I, oh, I, I was going to say uh, that, uh, you know, you see some of our stuff on YouTube, but we do extra little things on Instagram. So you, you would see a little bit more of us personally on Instagram. So if you don't follow us on Instagram and you're on Instagram, you, you probably should. Yeah. Along with Big Bear, you'll see extra stuff there. Um, definitely with Gerard. Oh, Gerard, let me show you. you. Oh, yes. While you're on here, Gerard, he sent. This uh, supposed to be like a Chinese uh, money plant. It's another kind of money, yeah. Yeah, but as you can see right here, I got he got these little pups coming up. Okay. It's so cute. Got some more sprouts coming. But he sent him that. It's so cute. It looks way happier Ooh. on this visit than uh, the last visit I was here. I think I did like an update picture a few months ago. Robin wants to know what time <laughs> she said she used to. <laughs> WPT. What? White people time. <laughs> Well, we're going to be CP time. He's CP time, but he's I'll, got the vehicle here. Yeah, so we'll be there my usual time. So you know how thrilled I am that I don't have access to my vehicle. Well, we can leave early and have them cook us breakfast, or I could cook you some nice breakfast in bed and then leave after. What else am I getting in? Uh, uh, hey, this is a P G family network okay. channel. Well, now you know <laughs> what's going to get you your CP time. You can't take her anywhere. <laughs> well, other people's children. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, when's the wedding, man? I want to know when's the wedding, Gerard. Oh, yeah. When are you? Because uh, Gerard's engaged uh, just this past what is it before the wasn't it right before the new year or around there when is the wedding really although i never wanted a wedding so whatever makes you happy this dude, he's so lucky. He's so lucky. Yes. I'm so, so lucky. lucky. I never wanted a wedding. I'm so lucky. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's still planning. Hey, plan, plan, plan it till whatever. Yeah, as so long as you guys are happy, we're happy. That would be a great idea with all things happening. Yes, Joshua G. It, 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 it's like so uncertain right now. Jamaica. Ooh. Ooh. If it's in Jamaica, I need to go. My passport expires next year. So does mine. We got ours at the same time, babe. 
right outside of, of Philadelphia. Not sure where my zone is at. You were probably a six, maybe a seven. He is pretty Dawn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty sure of myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's pretty confident. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think that's all I had. Yeah, we, we wanted to talk about some of the stuff to grow and kind of touch base with everybody and just kind of like, you know, there's a general mood. I know that it's the weekend. I was telling him earlier, it's it's a weekend of, you know, it's Good Friday. Um, there's so many people that have traditional things that they like to do this weekend, uh, be it, you know, church, certain meals. Uh, time with family, gatherings. Um, a lot of people aren't able to do. Some people are doing. Um, what was it I was mentioning earlier? Um, some people are doing um, like uh, virtual dinners. Um, oh, yeah. And and like virtually doing uh, video things, so their families can't come together because of the social distancing but they are doing like video stuff. Are any of you guys doing anything like that? Some people are just doing live dinners. Um, this, you know, it's an interesting weekend for a lot of people because they're not able to practice some of their face the way that they like to. Um, and it is like the biggest gathering for most uh, face this weekend. Yeah. We've been catching up a lot of uh, vid- uh Netflix uh, stuff we just finished with the Ozarks was I was so devastated by the ending of it couldn't end that way shouldn't end that way uh, we watch Uncourt um, if somebody can give us their Disney account and password that'd be great their HBO he loves cartoons uh, I I don't care uh, well I just wanted to watch Marvel stuff um, if they anybody has any HBO accounts and password they want to sh- <laughs> share with us, I'd be we great. We have with HBO. We do? Yeah, through my Hulu account that I have. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. in that case, we're about to go wrap this up. I'm about to watch uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, got a whole series of that. It's either HBO or Showtime that I have. Who watches Showtime? Nobody watches Showtime. I'm about to start an nice. HBO account. <laughs> a Showtime. That was like that was like late night when people used to sneak up and watch that when we were young and stuff. Okay. Anyway, well, thank y'all for standing by and watch us talk to y'all about what the plant and everything. If I missed anything, let us know. And you can always directly communicate with us through um, our Instagram account. I have two people on my Netflix. You need a third people? Third person? You need a third. No. Just throw it we have, I, I have that. I share it with our children. <laughs> I watch YouTube. So. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. But uh, thank y'all for stopping by. And uh, we'll probably be doing a little bit more live since we're limited on space until we get everything back to normal. And and our normal uh, end of the month live um, is probably not going to happen because he comes home on the 1st of May. So we're probably going to do the live that first weekend of May. Make it gardening weekend. Because he'll be at home. Yeah. With all the stuff. And I know you miss the garden so as, much. As you would say, Jason, making the love. <laughs> 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 all right. Until the next time, y'all, let's grow together. <laughs>